I am so excited for today. If you've already read the title, you know we're going to the bookstore. But before you beat me up, listen, 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 Linda. We have not bought books since the last bookstore vlog when I instilled that ban. That was like a month ago. And I feel like I've learned my lesson. I'm not gonna go and buy 20 books again that I know of. Regardless, I have heard what you said. I'm listening, I'm trying to grow and evolve. So not only are we going to the bookstore today, but we're also going to the library. Now, when I was a kid, I used to absolutely live in the library. I was constantly there, literally like every other day, because I had no money and I loved to read. But now I'm an adult who has no money and loves to read. So we're back, baby, better than ever. I am so excited to go. I've never been to my local library, so this is gonna be really fun. And I also got dressed for the occasion because it's spring, it's beautiful outside, the sun is finally coming out. So I'm like, why wear a sweater and leggings again? Let's get a little cute. You never know who you'll meet at the bookstore. <laughs> anyway, I'm so excited, let's get going. Also, I'd like to say RIP to the straight hair because today is the last day we're wearing the straight hair. We're going back to the curls and I'm probably not gonna straighten my hair again for like another five years. So let's have a moment of silence for the Beyonce hair. You will be missed. All right guys, we have made it to the bookstore. I'm so happy because there's barely anyone here which is my favorite time to come because as an introvert and a YouTuber, people don't bother you as much. They don't ask you while you're filming and stuff like that. So it's great. I'm really, really happy. But I realized I don't necessarily know what kind of book I'm looking for. I don't have any book in mind or anything like that, but I do know the vibes. So right now it's like springtime. It's starting to get warmer. We can wear less layers, stuff like that. And I'm also watching a really, really good K-drama. It's called 2521. Let me know down in the comments down below if you've watched it too. It's so good. But it's put me in the mood to read a lot more like romantic comedies, romantic thrillers, stuff like that. So that's what I'm looking for today. Something summery, something near water, and something about love. That's what we're looking for. But again, if we don't find anything here, we're still going to the library and I'm very excited about that. So without further ado, let's get in there.
just got back from the bookstore. I found some really good books. We did not stick completely to theme, but I think it's fine because there are some books that I really wanted that I haven't seen before that I just got. There's only one book that I didn't really know about that I just got because I wanted to see if it was good, but the rest of them I felt like I really wanted. Now we're going to the bookstore. Not the bookstore, god dang it. We're going to the library. Stop spending money. <sighs> we're going to the library. <laughs> No more bookstores today. We're going to the library to see if we can find anything else. And it's really nice because I've never been to my library before and I wanna see like how big it is, if they have a large selection, how many books I can get. Cause now it doesn't matter, I can just return it. And if I do like the books that I get there, I can just buy them at the bookstore. So it's like full circle, but much more efficient. I'm very excited. All right kids, buckle up your seatbelts. We're getting the heck up out of here. Is she saving money? Is she growing? Maybe I think so. Sunday mornings hiding under covers I don't mind staying in with you Play your favorite movie Laying right beside me I don't mind when it's just us two That corner coffee shop we like to go Late night walks with you to take me home With you I never feel alone These little songs make me glad to call you mine And you have got my head in the clouds oh. One, two, three All that I need is your body next to me On rainy days, just need your company Don't need too much, just your simple love and it's Of hearing your voice every morning I wake to a kiss on my face Oh, I don't need too much Just your simple love and it's every day disappointed in myself and I am so proud of you yes you you over there you're the best friend a girl can have you know why when I went to the library um I said I wasn't gonna cry um it was the most it was the most beautiful thing I have ever experienced it put my childhood library to shame there was an elevator so many ceilings and like glass windows a park a dog park um they had beautiful flowers the nicest staff i've lived in this town for almost 10 years and this is the first time i've been to the library that should be a crime lock me up i am guilty i have been spending so much money at the bookstore when i could have just been going to the library like you guys have been telling me <laughs> for months now Honestly, if we have to point a finger, I think it's your fault because you didn't push it enough. You know I'm stubborn, so apologize. Nope. <laughs> Either way, I am so happy I went. It was the most, I don't even want to say this, but come here. Come here, come here. It was better than Barnes & Noble's. What? It was so much better. So many books any kind of book any kind of book that you would want also cherry on top i don't know if your library is like this but my library is a little bit different <laughs> unlimited checkouts yeah you heard me right unlimited checkouts i'm about to be there all the time our bookstore vlogs are about to be top tier and we're not gonna spend any money unless i want to own the book yo why have i not gone to the library i used to be in the library all the time when i was in college and now I'm acting brand new when I'm at home? What is that about? I don't know, regardless, I am so 
freaking happy you guys have been forcing me and been begging me to go to the library. So thank you so much. Clap it up for you guys because you changed my life and I'm so happy. All of these vlogs are about to be so fire. I couldn't like shoot enough today because I'm still trying to figure it out and I didn't want to like show too much because I don't want to stalk her. It was so amazing. There's like plenty of room to study too. So like when I do the 24 hour reading vlogs, now we got a place to be. The scenery will be nice and I'll be in public so I can't go to sleep can't ask for much more I'm so freaking happy so I only got one two three four five but I could have got 50 I could have got 100 this is just me being modest this is me checking out the plays I just picked them based off of how their title was and like the the cover was so just keep that in mind first thing I got a do-over honestly I like the title I don't know Suzanne Park but it looked cute Number two, you guys know I'm learning Japanese. So I got this Japanese folk tales book for language learners. They're gonna explain like the kanji and stuff as I read the thing. So I thought that was nice. Number three, meant to be mine. How cute is that title? Tell me that's not cute. Go ahead, tell me. You're wrong. Very cute, very excited about that. Then I got Smart Girl Summer by Kristen Rockaway. Never heard of it, but it looked kind of cute. And then last but not least, I got The Mermaid of Black Conch. I've actually heard of this book. I just have never read it and I didn't read the back of it. I just liked how it looked. And when I was younger, I was obsessed with mermaids. So I was like in this nostalgic place thinking about how I used to spend all my weekends at the library. And then I saw a book about mermaids. So I was like, why not? But then I still love owning a good book though. And these are some good books. So let's go through them. Now we got five books in total from Barnes and Nobles and I know we were initially going in with like a romance vibe, a summery vibe, but I couldn't find too many romances. I did find a few, but a lot of them are like different genres as well. Regardless, these are all books that I've seen before and I actually really did want, so it kind of just worked out. Now first up is a romance. This book is The Soulmate Equation. It was written by Christina Lauren. This is the same author who wrote Love in Other Words and you know how much I loved Love in Other Words. So I'm like, if they wrote another book, I just gotta pick it up. That's just how it works. This one is a little bit of a different spin on romance though. So it's a science romance. The main character, her name is Jess. She tries to find her soulmate through this genetic testing system and she actually gets matched with the person who created the genetic testing system. But when she meets him, she kind of hates him. It's a very grumpy sunshine situation. And then she thinks that there's no way this guy is supposed to be her soulmate, but then they pay her to like continue to date him or to continue to see him. And then they end up falling in love. So I'm like, we gotta get that. You know I love a grumpy sunshine mix. Then after that, we're doing another romance. This is The Sun is Also a Star. It was written by Nicola Yoon. She also wrote Everything Everything, and when I read that, I was just so in love with it. I loved it so much. I even watched the movie. Now, the movie wasn't as good as the book, but it was still very good. Now, they also made a movie out of this too, so I'm gonna read this and then watch the movie again too, so I'm very, very excited. Now, next up is Such a Fun Age by Keely Reed. Now, this is more of like a social satire about like American experience and privilege that's within it and it's not necessarily a romance but apparently it is funny and it has really good reviews so I'm very excited to read. Then I got a thriller. This is The Paris Apartment by Lucy Foley. She also wrote The Guest List and that has really good reviews so I'm excited to see this because I really want to get more into thrillers this year. Last but not least, this is the book I am most excited about. This is A Tale for the Time Being by Ruth Ozeki. Now this is a book that uh, Jack Edwards also recommended before and you guys know if he recommends a book I'm gonna get it. That's just how it works. This book is about a Japanese teenager. Her lunchbox like washes up on the beach I believe and um, inside of it, it has her diary and it just explains her life. It goes through her life and she's kind of like suicidal. She doesn't really want to live anymore and it explains why and like where her life ended up being. And and someone else is reading her diary and they just want to see like what happens to her and she's just following that story. So it just sounds really interesting. I'm very excited to see if I like it or not. And that is all the books that we got from Barnes and Nobles today. We only got five, which isn't bad. I spent less than $100, so clap it up for efficiency. I also got five books from the library, so we got 10 books today and I only paid for five. 
that's pretty great in my book. I'm very excited to add this to the repertoire. Again, I filled out this entire bookshelf, so I'm very proud of myself. But now I need to read Project Hail Mary. That is the book that I'm currently on. It's also a book that we picked in my April TBR list. I already finished uh, Lord of the Flies and that was really good in my opinion. So I'm in the middle of Project Hail Mary. I wanna do a little bit of reading now and we'll put these up. Walking to the market, strolling hand in hand, exchanging letters when you're away. Don't need any effort when we are together we always have fun throughout the day i'll do anything to get your attention when you say you love me i seem to ascend to the heavens above where we fall in love i don't know what i would do without you because all i need all i need Just need your company, don't need too much Just your simple love 